Hello and welcome to another week of Samba Y Racing. It's week two, season three, 2024. We're in the Formula V, of course, at Okiyama International Circuit for the full course layout. Should be another great week of uh, racing. All the overtakes tend to happen on the main straight here, so make sure that your exit through turn four just beforehand is going to be a clean one so that you can get right up the arse of the car in front and get that overtake nice and clean ahead of the hairpin. If you're new to the channel, welcome. What we do is a uh, lap from the cockpit where I slow everything down, show you my braking markers. Then we go to chase camp for a full speed run through and then we're back in the cockpit one more time with the driving line on for another full speed run through. It is slightly warmer than the previous season and I had the wind into my face on the uh, main straight. So the time is very slightly slower than it was last time. But if you want a faster time, that's fine. Just come back out of this video and click on the previous one, which should also be on the first page of the YouTube search. Anyway, enough of that. Let's start the lap. Righty-ho, so here we are on the left-hand side, and just before the start of lap, I will let you know that I did start this test session from the uh, V schedule, went in there, and that's how I always start the V session, so that we are on an up-to-date version, and we're going to be doing in the same sort of conditions that the race will start. Other thing I want to make note of is, uh, last season, I used second gear in turns five, which is the hairpin, and turn eight, which is red man corner. Uh, I know that these guides tend to be aimed at people that are on a beginner and intermediate level, and I think second gear was possibly, judging by some of the comments, a little bit much for some of you. So I've just used third gear in these uh, in this guide this time to show that this is the sort of time that you can expect to do if you are using third gear. So it doesn't make a huge difference. It's only worth a few tenths, uh, but that's the reason why I use third this time out. I will possibly be using second in the race if you see me uh, post one. Anyway, let's start. So we're over on the left-hand side, in fourth gear, and what we're looking for is that good old blue cone, which then has a line coming across from it. That's going to be our braking marker for turn one. So we're not going to brake too hard for turn one. As we get to the line, we're going to go up on the brake, off the gas, on the brake only to about 55%. I'm going to do a long trail all the way down to the apex, dropping it from fourth gear into third gear with a little blip that I do there. And now we're slowly building back up on the throttle so that when we get right to the apex, we are now on 100% throttle and we're just going to hold it round turn one. You will drift out, get back over to the right-hand side and for turn two, all we're going to do is a lift. Same thing as always, once we get to this patch of mud on the right-hand side, we're going to start our turn left. Once we get halfway across the track, we're going to come off the throttle down to about 20% and then immediately start building it slowly back up to 100%. So that we're on 100% throttle nice and early because we're going to be on the throttle all the way through 2, 3 and all the way into turn 4, the outward curve. So we're on 100% throttle. We're going to cut and go over the uh, rumble strip on the left-hand side. That's absolutely fine. The car will drift out. We're going slightly uphill this time, so I hold it and only change up to fourth at 137 as opposed to 133 kilometers an hour, just because you want that extra torque going uphill. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible through here. Always be on the lookout in the race there for people on your left and right. And now for turn four, we're using the 50 meter marker on the left hand side. So as we get there, I'm going to go on the brake bit harder this time up to about 70 percent and again i'm going to immediately start trailing that off as i'm making the turn for turn four so still on the brake and still slowly coming off and as i get down to the apex here nice and early i'm gonna see it's a really long trail break isn't it so you see i'm blipping the throttle as i change to third gear and immediately onto a hundred percent throttle nice and early hold it around to the right hand side a little cut there keep it around there keep the track going as short as possible in other cars a wider line through there i prefer but in the v because it's so underpowered i prefer to get my throttle earlier so this is where you want to be getting all your overtaking done you are going to have some very brave heroes coming here and crashing into everyone so try and ignore them and what we're looking for again is this 50 meter marker on the left hand side so just as we get to it and it goes out of screen you can see i'm getting on the brake nice and early and I have a brake bias of four clicks back. I think that's 65.5. I uh, get people asking me on every single video, what's the brake bias? It's always 65.5 unless I say or will make mention of it. So that's what I'm using on this one. 
So again, getting most of the braking done in a straight line. And it's only as I start turning more towards the apex that I'm going to bleed off on the brake. I'm put a tiny bit of throttle on just so that when I change it down to third gear, I'm not going to get any wheel locking up. And I'm just going to hold it in third gear this time. So I'm still in third gear. I'm still on a tiny bit of brake coming off. And once I get down to the apex now, I don't really want to cut too much on this rumble strip because it does bump you a lot. I'm getting back on the throttle nice and early, so as I come away from the apex, I'm in third gear. Hold it over to the right-hand side, and now there is no real marker for this, but it's just as you get over there fully to the right-hand side, I immediately start doing a lift, and it is only a lift, no brake needed, down to about 10%, and immediately building back up. Once I'm getting to the apex here, I'm going to be giving it another blast of throttle up to 100%, Come over to the right hand side as long as you're keeping your left hand tire on the white line you're not going to have an off track we're going to hold it straight here and then as we get to the end of this exit road we're going to start turning left again and immediately do a big lift down to about seven percent you'll just get a feel for it and then again we're building back up on the throttle still holding it off holding it off so i'm at 86 percent doing a big cut here and then up to 100 percent exit wide make full use of the track now we're looking for the 50 meter marker. Now, what do you do here? Do you take the driving line, which takes you a nice wide one, or do you sort of aim towards the apex? In reality, you get on the brake and immediately start trying to aim towards the apex. So you're going inside, I think, where the driving line is there. And again, trail it all the way down to the apex and start building back up on the throttle. This is where I was using second gear last season. But as I'm in third gear, I just left it that extra beat and getting back on the throttle as I come off. Over to the left hand side. And again, there's no marker for this, but you just get a feel for it. It's just as far as you can get over to the left hand side to open up Hobbs, which is turn nine. And you come off the gas. I put a tiny dab of brake on, and again, that's not to slow the car, that's more to get the weight over the front wheel so that I can turn in. And I'm just waiting and waiting, getting back on the throttle so that nice and early, just ahead of the apex, over to the left-hand side. Now we take turn 10 flat. Where I am here is absolutely fine, but if you do get your wheels, your right-hand wheels, on the yellow line, you are going to have an off-track here, so you can cut it as far as I am, but no further. We go over to the left-hand side, and it's about two car lengths after the start of the mud at the end of the green asphalt that's when we're just going to do a quick blip on the brake up to about 30 percent trail that off nice and early and already i'm building back up to 100 percent throttle well ahead of the corner itself just holding holding making sure that i can get the rear rotated enough so that as i come off i'm back up to 100 percent throttle car will exit wide this is absolutely perfect you don't want to be any further over to the right otherwise you're going to end up in the gravel which will slow you down and give you an x and then we charge over the line. Now, as I say, depending on where the wind is, you might be slightly faster or slower in certain aspects, but these are the braking markers that you should be using. Unless your name's Matt Zerbies, and then I won't try and tell you what to do. Okay, right, now we will go chase cam for a full speed run through. Righty ho, full speed run through from the chase cam. Over to the left hand side, full speed, looking for the cone in the line. Breaking up to about 50%, back on the gas after a nice trail break, over to the right hand side, looking for this mud patch, turn left, off the throttle, back on the throttle, keeping as much speed as we can going through there, late change up, trying to keep the car as straight as possible through that kink, looking for the 50 meter board, getting the braking done nice and early, back on the throttle ahead of the apex. Holding it over to the right hand side. Looking for the 50 meter board. Breaking quite hard, up to about 85%, trailing it off down to the apex, down to third gear, over to the right hand side, lift cut back on the throttle 
exactly the same thing again. Preparing for Redman Corner, 50 meter board. Braking up to about 70%, quick trail off, down to third gear, back on the gas. Over to the left hand side, lift, tiny tap on the brake just to get the weight balance sorted. Cut this corner without going over the yellow. And now final corner, tiny bit of braking, back on the gas. All very clean, all very straightforward. Final time from the cockpit with the driving line on. Thanks once again for watching, I've been Sambo at iRacing and I will see you guys in the week.